Right then, first uh, box unboxed and a lot more to go. Okay, this is going to be a long day or a long weekend actually, so it might be that I just vlog this day and rest you have to imagine. <laughs> Box number two. Tiny kink in the sleeve. This is the new one from Catlea Tenebrosa. And it's a little bit damaged there. I might put some steak on here and wrap it up to um, around the steak so this can actually harden off and straighten up. So here we are. As you can see, I now supported it and it, it should, except this kink, cannot do anything about that. That's damaged. So it should grow straight. And I have enough room here so that I can loosen up from that uh, place where it was kinked a bit uh, when it starts to bulging the bulb or growing the leaf more so because that's that's still growing as you can see but yeah let's continue uh, my Cattleya violacea um, cerulea it has been a little bit of a dark horse I suspected this would actually drop dead but it was actually making new roots there when I repotted it of course it's now stressed out because of the uh, moving but there's still a little bit left of growing root tip and I do see well you cannot see it but hold on a second there, between these two, there is actually new growth. So I'm expecting this to actually pull, pull, uh, pull through. Sorry about that, I haven't been sp speaking in English for a long time. But yeah, no, I do speak it in my work, but not for a few days. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm waiting for that new growth to grow and the new roots establishing it better there. I need to figure out how to secure this one into the pot because it seems not to be doing any, any good with this one only. But yeah, still alive and kicking. So you remember when I was... Uh, Unboxing this Dorianos, this I think Yep, it's the Oreo. So it's growing now a new growth there This is the small one which is sort of a backup and at the same time I'm going to sorry about the echo I'm planning on to have it As a exchange orchid or sell it at some point root wise I don't see anything here, but that, that doesn't mean that there wouldn't be anything. There's one growing out there, but it's it's not wobbling, so there is still roots inside. So yeah, I feel the Doviana seems to be, at least in my environment, easy, which is strange. Have you ever seen a live root? Yeah, I lost the root tip, <laughs> but this was outside of the pot, so anyway, I would lose it at some point. And check that root. Yeah, the media is here. But I'm going to have issues with this one. So this is really good at growing, it seems. And this is the one which I got 
as a freebie with my friend. So it's the mini purple Albesens Jacko. I have no idea how it is, what it looks like. There is no records online which I could find about this. LC mini purple. I'm not sure if it's is still LC, but I could try to find mini purple at least. At least. Uh, but yeah, I'm waiting this to actually at some point bloom because this should supposed to be, I guess, blooming size. But yeah, loads of roots. This is a good root productor. So I I actually uh, reported it when it was um. I didn't even have the new growth yet, so this is really, really resilient and I would say a good beginner Cattleya. So this one is the Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Um, the uh, previous pseudopulp was much bigger than, or taller than the other one, but on the other hand I didn't put this out so that they could actually really get the good sunlight and also that's why I'm, I'm guessing it's not it didn't have that good growth I'm going to put them outside next year but this year it's, they'll have to stand with the light which I have um, this has been a good root productor so I'm, I've been really happy with this one and there's some lighter nubbing in there. Not sure. Sorry, but yeah, no, you should see. Not sure if it's going to bloom. In this country, uh, the Zygnages and all the other ones, they usually bloom closer to December, which is odd because I've seen everybody else having theirs to bloom but I'm guessing it's because of the... yeah, we are so up north so I'm still waiting, my friend told me she has this one so she said that you have to still wait for the blooming and as you can see there isn't that much lightness on the seeds which the leaves are attached to I can see a little bit browning on there, but I guess that was for the traveling which caused it to yellow up on the tip. But yeah, that's my Millennium Witchcraft. Third one. <laughs> yeah, been working since the morning. It's now around 2 to 3 p.m. I'm starting to get tired i might actually have a lunch break after this one but yeah maybe i'll have now because the next i have to go and treat the orchids which i just opened up oh by the way i need to show you this one um this thing here is actually my psychopsis uh and it's here I'm trying to recover it. It almost lost all of its leaves. I'm, I'm seeing now some new growths. There was somewhere, but I don't want to actually open this back up. But yeah, it's struggling, but I'm hoping to actually be able to bring it back to life. Let's see. But yeah, lunch break. So I have those left. Those are the big ones. I think I have pots for them, but not for any small ones. I've packed them apparently really well and I forgot to actually write on the box or bag or anywhere I put all my pots. So that's a bummer. I, I packed them like almost the last ones. So, yeah, but hold on a sec, I'll show you what I've done so far. So, uh, that one is missing lights. I'm going to actually put one light which is behind me, I'm going to show it to you. And the other one down there, the, I'm going to buy two 
one extension and one main with the oh my gosh i'm not sure what it's called but anyway ah uh, yeah there is uh, this huge thing which i need to when i'm using leds you know what i'm talking about so the similar way as those are uh but at this mo moment i'm going to go with uh, shorter lights for the time being i think those phalaenopsis can handle it so i'm going to keep cattleyas and other plants up here i can actually move down my my Paphiobedalums, I'm sure they can handle that one too. But yeah, hold on a sec, I'll turn around. So this is, that's the light which I'm putting down down there. It's, for the time being, it's there. Um, I have actually extension. One for this, which is here, the LED. So I'm putting this one up there. And that's because I have all the big cats and stuff here, so I think I need more light for them. And I can put the taller ones up there. And I'm waiting for one extra bit of cord so that I can actually fit that extension here and go down there. So that's my plan and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> So this was today. I I have to end now. I have to think of uh, do uh, other unboxing. Well, open the boxes and and go through them. So might actually bump into my my pots which are missing. And yeah, so this was kind of logging. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay. One day has gone by and I really had to um, arrange all the big furniture meanwhile so my orchids just had to put up with it to stay in the boxes, couldn't do anything else. We need to live here as well. <laughs> um, surprisingly these two bots from my not sure if it's a wrinkle Lelia Cattleya anymore, but it's Sony Green Dragon King. Um, it's um, I believe there is a Digbiana or something similar inside of this. I have to actually check. But anyway, it's still about to bloom, as you can see here. Um, a little bit shriveling up the bulbs. I might have to actually cut the blooms short. It was because of the slugs, or, well, bush nails ate the roots and I had to report it in between. But as you can see, the um, sun treatment during the summer uh, really worked well with this one. Uh, this was on my south facing window. There was 40% um, sheer curtain behind. Uh, in front of it so it wouldn't burn completely so that made the trick so now it's actually going to bloom but yeah i'll cut them short after it has bloomed i know that it has the reserve and the bulbs to actually push out new suitable might be that the next one is really small but i'm really mm, selfish and want to see the blooms <laughs> Okay, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but I'll continue unpacking and um, there's the box ready. I already started and I need to continue now. Here's one of my favorite. This is actually the kids. So it's the RLC Gold Cream Hair Pig. Um, I haven't shown it to you that often because it's growing really well. It has two growth points and it's um, as you can see this one it's a little bit bent because it was in the in the box and it's growing really tall it, I cannot even show you I had to move the camera but I'll show you soon just a second I'll, let me show you the roots first so the root system is really great with this one. I have had no issues. 
and as you can see it's going all the way down there and I can feel the pot is firm so there isn't that much to extra room it's a little bit wonky when it's growing as you can see this one is twisted as well as this one I've been trying to direct it slightly so that it's not going to be that bent don't know why I'm giving it Carmack and, and and the Epsom salts but it's still doing that so maybe I'm not giving it enough as much as it would need let me know if you actually know what I'm doing right or wrong but yeah I'll show you the new growth it's going to be a lot bigger than the other ones and hold on a sec so I forgot to tell you this is south facing window so it's like this <laughs> I think I need to have a longer stake and try to trim, train it with the um, uh, florist wire. That way I'm able to actually get it straightened up. It's a little bit wonky, but I like this one and hopefully it's going to bloom next year. I'm not sure how this actually acts because the green dragon Oh, sorry, oh, you were out of focus. Um, green dragon, it's, it had the buds inside of the, um, the leaf. So it's uh, flowering from new leaf and it's pre um, preparing the blooms already when the leaf is like this. So not sure if this is actually acting the same way. But yeah, that's my hair pig. This is my soy sugar. I actually found the uh, tag, but I placed it somewhere, which I'm going to find when I'm ready with my moving. But there's the newest pseudobulb. It's quite huge. As you can see, it's size of a, well, a small potato, I would say. So it's the same size as the one which it came from the Karke. It had I, th I believe beginning of flower spike or something but when I brought it in it didn't develop so I guess it doesn't want to develop so this is the newest growth as you can see there's well there was roots kind of a lot of them but they look now old and tired hmm might be that after this one I need to report this and see if I'm going to put it into maybe a little bit more moss because this is starting to be that big that I'm having issues of watering it all the time but yeah it's it's climbing a bit and I've been training it to actually grow from to this direction now so you can see it's like turned around so I have been able to keep this pot for it but yeah growing well might be that it's going to bloom next year no worries about that and we'll continue for the next one this is my dendrobium um, summer summer blooming dendrobium I don't know what the days are gone called but this is the cross denon Penang Little Maggie. Not sure if it's regi registered already. I think it's um, Little Star is registered, but the Penang Little Maggie wasn't a few years ago. And it's crossed with Dendrobium Lacenthera. I know that both are, at least the Lacenthera, if I'm not mistaken, was a really hot grower. So this one has been in my greenhouse for the whole summer and got on the best light it can actually get and the warmth so the greenhouse has been close to 45 sometimes so i've been like chucking along water on these so they, this can actually survive that and as you can see it's a little bit burnt there so i had to put uh, shade netting during the hottest uh, days and then gradually when it 
went cooler I took it off so that they can have good sun there is these nubbins which you can might have seen the behind there sorry about the lighting it's not the, the greatest but it decided that it's time to grow new growth and no blooming so I'm waiting for this to actually do some root it's it is a big a bit thicker if you can see well almost like twice as thick as this one so maybe it's going to bloom now but I'm not sure when these bloom I just don't know it grows well it has roots I don't know what's what's more it needs so let me know if you know about anything about this but I'm really horrid with the dendrobiums oh, it seems to be diff it seems to be really difficult for me even these ones which doesn't need cooling so yeah but I'm keeping it because it it looks nice I like the bulbs so even though it's not so flowering at least it looks great so, uh, now that I have the thrip issue under control boy I got the rare treat for you just a second so there's a lot because this is from my paludarium let me get you down a bit now you can see it um, I actually got rid of that paludarium because it's it was getting really bad looking and I'm hoping to actually find myself a new kind of aquarium so I can put this in. Uh, meanwhile they can stay here and I'll be putting them on the windowsill so the radiator is heating them up and the sun is uh, shining straight through. So I have Hoyas here. One is, I believe I've lost the tag, but this one is the Burtonia or something similar, not the Burtonia, but I don't remember. But it's like all around here, as you can see, it's really tall. And um, this is my Cania Gumariana, white red, which is growing as well, really nicely. It's tucked away there. But then I have these ones, and these are my. What was your name? Uh, on, yeah, it's Trichocentrum sepoletta. So this is on cedium types, and I think they could be out of the paludarium. I have here, which I actually cracked. There was a new growth, but when I was doing my moving, I cracked this one off. So this is a um, Lodi Jesse Marisa. I'm not sure if I'm able to actually grow any more. Growth. There is coming one. Then I have these, and I do believe there is a new growth coming. It's a little bit mangled, as you can see. And this one, I've lost the name. Luckily, I have the records. So this is the Cattleya intermedia, a variety Semialba cerulea. And these are looking really nice. So they are growing quite well. And this is the um, Arizona cross with red rum, and it's growing as well, really well. There. Uh, some of them are not looking that good, and some I had to throw away. Oh, there is one bakery. Okay. One did survive, but the others didn't because of the moving. I didn't have time for them. So only the toughest survive. So here they are. And one of these biggies is actually for Nina, as we as I promised. So I'm going to wait for them until um, springtime. I don't want to send anything now, and I really want them to have good established root systems and a few more leaves, so you can have one of these sepaletas. These are re uh, from Mexico region, so I think they'll love uh, the Spanish sun. <laughs> <laughs> 